Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today is our... Let me just move this. There you go. Ta -da -da. Today is our Friday planned haul day. So, today was a big haul. But let me just guys show you. First, I'm going to show you the ones that I got from Tally's. Which is... Hello, Tilda! Oh my goodness, here comes Tilda. Can you move over? Thank you. Stay right here, please. Tilda, they can't see what I bought if you do that. Anyhow, Tally's is a, a local nursery. And huh, I could, I could stay the whole day there, but we're not going to talk about that. Let me just show you what I got. And I am honestly feeling like a... Um, intermediate per se plant mom but nah 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 all right so what i got from them is this beautiful beautiful um monstera adamsonii so this is a trailing plant so first um i thought that these leaves right over here uh I, oh, right here. I don't know if you can see that. I thought that they were variegated, but they're not. They're just sun stress. Um, I picked this up for $19. The other ones were $11, but they, they're not this trailing. The leaves were bigger, but I picked this up because there's a lot of its leaf has really nice fenestrations, which is what why these plants are really popular so i also picked this plant because i see a lot of new growth right there so these are really one of my um wish list plant and i'm lucky enough that it's it's very close to where i live really so i mean not where i live but yeah it is a little bit close to where i live but mostly close like um to my work so, yep, I picked that up. That's the Monstera Adamson Adamsonii, and I'm uh, thinking that I would like to get this to trail up. So, hopefully we can do that. And then the other beauty that I picked up, which is also in my plant wish list, is this beautiful Hoya 2-inch pot. This is the Hoya Heart or the Hoya Carii, super beautiful. And they're $9. If you guys are not um, familiar with this plant, this is, uh, Hoya are like succulents. So, and this particular plant only has one leaf. Like, this is it right over here. And it's so gorgeous. Um, the light that I have right here, is my grow light so that's why it's weird but yeah so that's the one that i got from trolley tally um and if you guys are within like um like metro detroit particularly in troy michigan go ahead and check them out they are awesome and the people in there are so nice so all right, so now let me show you what I got from Lowe's. I went to two Lowe's today. So let me show you what I got. This is basically a repeat. So I got this um, Dorothy again, or it's like the curly fig. I bought this before, but mine did not go well. So I'm hoping that I've learned my lesson. I just love I just love this plant I really really do it's so beautiful um, I think I picked it up like three weeks ago let me just show you guys what the old one looks okay you guys so this is my first one that I got and unfortunately it was actually fuller than this one right here when I picked it up I picked it up like when I got my um, donkey tail anyhow as you can see, it went dry. I cut them out. There are some foliage that are left. 
but for some reason it just just didn't make it so i'm hoping that i can revive this one but i really truly love this so um so the new one is also the same price as this one they are 16.98 so I, like i said i really love it so i picked up another um another one and that is the dorothy here let me just take this out right there it says medium light and i have like the cutest stand that i got for it but yeah didn't make it so this is so gorgeous i hope that the second time would be better for me so yep pick those up and then um on another um lows i saw these i don't know where that water is coming from but anyhow these gorgeous i think this is called like colossal um uh, cordeline um red star i believe so i was standing in there for like the longest time i just thought that this is very unique and i super love the pot that it come with it this is by urban jungle let me just see where that water is coming from oh so gorgeous so this is pretty moist but it looks like this um the funny thing though about urban jungle is that they don't really put in here what kind of plant it is but it's all right um it's so beautiful i cannot wait for this one so it looks like this so yep these ones were 13 dollars, including the pot so i just thought it was cute so i picked that up and then another thing that i picked up at lowe's and this one i just can't help myself is I picked up this gorgeous hydrangea so let me I'm so glad that they have it on this like little thing right here which is I'll probably keep this in my car just so if I'm like getting more plants I think it protects the foliage all right so look how beautiful this one is guys I just splurged myself because because they are so pretty so these are $14 um, well $15 and the pot is also pretty so that's that so this is the pot I'm not quite sure what I would like to do with that it also has this like little thingy right here oh oh okay well ooh, maybe the water's coming from here not sure but it says that they are hydrangea that's all that they put in here so oh my gosh it's so moist i have to look this up so that they have a couple of other ones but the reason why i picked this particular one up i really wanted to get this thing out oh okay Maybe if I could. Oh, there you go. So it looks like this. See that there's a plastic thingy right there. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but it's holding, I guess, the flowers. Because they might be drooping down. Maybe. Uh. All right. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not going to mess it up because it's beautiful. And then it's just a regular cash pot. I don't know if I'm going to keep it here, but look, they have like new growth coming and it's just so beautiful. It's just a nice little um, centerpiece. They don't really smell nothing, but um, yeah, I was so happy to pick this up. It really like made me so, so um excited i guess of um of spring so so it's so nice actually because like 
the garden centers have um, started pulling, putting out a lot of their um, stuff, even for like the regular uh, or local nursery. So, you know, you see growth, it's just beautiful, and there's sunlight. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that is my hydrangea. So, I'm going to put that there. And like I said, I think I'm going to keep this. This is not really nothing special about it, but I just thought it's um, helpful for when I'm buying plants, which is every Friday. So, put that right there. And then, um, I guess, oh, all right. Sorry about that. So, I also found this variegated carsula. See how beautiful that is. I wasn't, ooh, I wasn't sure. Like, well, I went to Lowe's first before I went to Tally's, but it was so pretty. So these were like $5, I believe. I think that's how much I paid for them. I'm not quite sure. This is a different one. Okay, that's different. I don't know where my um, receipt for that went. Maybe it's right here. Yes, it's right here. And I want to be so careful with my carry eye. Oh, yes, they were five. They were six bucks for this one. So if you guys remember, a couple of weeks, um, I picked up like the regular kind and they're doing so well. But now I picked those up. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in one pot. But they're definitely cute. So, yep, I picked those up. And then, last but not the least from Lowe's is that from their clearance section, I scored on these yucca cane right here. Ta -da! And they are on clearance for 7 bucks. It is not bad. Let me show you guys. Ta -da! Um, they do have, oops, I just put soil in myself. So maybe, okay. So they just have like, let me show you. Like that, with like some yellow leaves. Maybe if I backed it up a little bit. Okay. Like there's some like yellow leaves right here, but that's okay. Um, you can just fill them off, I guess. But um, like what I do and my routine for all of my plants when I take them home, I'm all going to spray them with neem oil and then isolate them in the spot that I normally put my plants that are new because they're from the center so i don't feel like the ones that are from well you can never be too careful i guess so yeah i just have to take out the dead leaves so and i think that it's okay like i got my cane mass cane right there for five dollars and it's doing fine i cut some of the leaves out but yeah like that's what i'm planning to do right here i think it looks great i'm pretty excited about this i almost bought another bromeliad for five dollars they have some clearance like good clearance on my regular one on 12 mile but yep and it says right here that this is highlight so i'm probably going to leave them right here they're very pokey but they're super gorgeous don't you think so yep that is the one that i bought from there and then I also try to go to, um, well, I did go to Home Depot. They really didn't have, I don't know, like the one on 12 Mile, they didn't really have anything. Don't eat that one. Um, they didn't have quite um, a selection of plants in there. And I don't know what they've been doing lately and how they're, whatever so but i still ended up like getting something i guess let me see uh okay right there so oops right there okay so 
I am more than half out of my um, fertilizers. So I picked them up because I'm fertilizing my plants more because it's getting to be like um, nicer. So I want them to be healthy. So I did that. And then they also have these saucers. I picked up two of them. Um, they were, that's funny. They were, um, 448. They were two something a piece. So, yeah, it's just regular saucers because it's easy, you know? So, and then last but not the least, this is the only thing that I got is I picked up this really cute Echeveria. Boom. The cabbage one, um, as you can see, they're like sideways in the soil. I'm not sure, but they are gorgeous, super gorgeous. So yeah, that is it for our um, Friday plant haul day. I hope you guys are um, doing well. Comment down below which ones you are um likely gonna be buying i'm super excited about everything that i got um and then most of them are like in my wish plant list and then we'll see you guys again thanks bye